There we go. So is that okay to see, All right? Okay, let's start. Uh, controllable everything in virtual space, Cox Space. Yeah, Cox Space is a AR, XR, Metaverse solution company and provide hardware and, so, uh, hardware and software. And I'm Vinny from Cox Space. Yeah, here's a problem that we start with. Yeah, today, the current high technology industry structure is very complex and advanced. And there is always a shortage of an expert who deal with such as uh, such advanced equipment. Real time information is very important in an urgent or dangerous situation. And incorrect information can have a critical consequence. And robots are in drone, which are currently used in many fields. We think to require technology that can be precisely controlled remotely. <clears throat> Yeah. A technical solution is required to solve this problem. Kamar has this advantage of not being able to accurately measure angle in space. Also, we need a more innovative video communication than Zoom. Then we thought we need an easier, more convenient, and more precise control than existing complex VR AR controller. It is almost efficient to get help from AI and experts at the same time. Yeah, here I am introducing uh, Cox Meta Space, which has sol uh, solved all these kind of technical issue we call it CS, yeah, Co Cox Meta Space. Cox Meta Space has a three core functions. Video call is possible based on the air glass, and you can automatically recognize object. And it also allows for the precise control in space. This help even beginner handle complex equipment with easy. Yeah, Cox Meta Space consists of a gesture mouse called Bungie and AI Big Data Analysis Platform. Based on our tech, we provide a first service. First service consists of a CXC for the control, CXA for the analysis. It also provides a PHM for a pro prognostic and has management of like anything circumstances. And CXM is a Cox Meta uh, maker. So, uh, Cox Maker automatically search for the object by modeling and deep learning when you take a picture or a video and upload it to our web. And CXW is an XR video collaboration platform. It can apply it in any AI glass in the market. Uh, further now, okay, I'll, I will show the video. So actually, this one is we apply the uh, whole Microsoft HoloLens to so scan the, the object and shows uh, all the materials and marking as that. Also, it shows the information. Yeah. Yeah, the core technology cost system uh, is a multi remote video collaboration, such as the Zoom. That it's just a very simple idea that Zoom for uh, Metaverse Zoom. So, yeah, okay. And second, object detection technology based on the deep learning. And also the third, the last one is a special precision control that we have. Yeah, we have based on our semiconductor, uh, semiconductor technology, we have a uh, uh, highly, uh, we have a, the technology of a 9 DOI facility the positioning. Also, gesture machine, a gesture of machine recorder. Yeah, we have a great differentiation and competitiveness in the market, convenience, uh, in convenience and price scalability, and also function. Here's our business. Oh. Here's our business model. Uh, next year, the uh, bunch of air glass will be coming on, so we will. Uh, we will apply the, our technology and, and solution to the AI glasses. So a uh, customer can uh, choose different price model and they can also experience a Cox, Cox Meta space, whatever they want. Yeah. 
And in addition, now on like we are currently uh, the under discussion with the TCL is a company in, uh, from China AI Glass team. The next one is PG strategy. Actually, we started from the B2C market as Bungie. Bungie is a, uh, a wearable device that we applied the 9DO app uh, and 3D positioning with a gesture motion learning recorder. And we launched it. On, uh, launch, we launched it on a several cloud funding platform, like a Kickstarter, Makuak, Indiegogo, what is. Uh, and we got a uh, revenue, revenue at $800,000 last uh, 2000, in 2021. And we also launched now on, uh, we also now on the second project that is called the Banji. Uh, it's kind of, uh, we had uh, some, uh, we have done, uh, we are still going on with the several cloud funding platform. And after the crowdfunding platform, we will the open. Yeah, we will launch it on the open market like Amazon, uh, US, and then UK, and Japan. Also, some several details tour. And in addition, I also uh, last uh, last month I went to uh, Finland and some several uh, countries from Europe, and I went to a retail store and I made a contract with them. So. Uh, uh, like a meal, uh, Ita uh, Italy and Dutchland and uh, uh, in, uh, UK. So Banji will be shown at, at displayed at uh, some retail store in Europe. And also we will also the, uh, launch the, the Cox, uh, Cox Meta space uh, for that, uh, can, that can possibly to apply uh, uh, with Banji. Yeah, for the uh, B2B business or B2M or B2Z, that we are, you know, we are the contract, uh, we are under discussion with several, uh, several company and organization. And K military, especially Air Force, are a uh, big customer of our the Cox Meta space. And also, we uh, last week I went to the Helsinki XR Center, the met the director of XR Center, and also. Uh, have some project with uh, the Finnish, the Metaverse company next year. Yeah, here's, here's our yearly growth goal. Yeah, we started from the B2C and then uh, the, and making larger in, a, in a, some several specific uh, the industry. And here's our team, they are expert all their expert expert in their field. Yeah, CEO is from uh, Intel. Uh, he has he has been a long time for the hardware program manager in Intel and MediaTek. Also, uh, last day, uh, currently joined the CEO, who is uh, the vice president of uh, Jesus Kong. He is a uh, XR AI expert uh, in metaverse. Okay, yeah, here's our milestone and. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for bringing us into your uh, work in the metaverse. Uh, really appreciate it. I believe I have some questions before I get started, though. Uh, why uh -huh. don't we go back to Clement and uh, see what he has to uh, ask to say? Yeah, thank you. Uh, just one quick question. Uh, so you are selling um what you are selling is this uh platform and this kind of human interface on the finger right and then yeah, right and then this uh hardware um is actually connecting with some uh glasses some ar glasses right yeah uh, right? And and then yep. and basically you are making money through uh, the platform. Uh, the yeah we, the yeah we have the two the cash flow is that one is from the Banji we selling on the market yeah. it is market so customer, and the second one is we have also a uh, customer of the uh, uh, Cox Meta space the the uh, XI platform. Okay, so how does that like? How does that make money? Like, do you rent space? What What do you do there on on this platform? Oh, you mean the rent space? Okay. So, you mean like a, what kind of a? Or you mean like a kind of a use case of a, the Cox Meta space? You mean right? Yeah. 
yeah what what do you sell on the meta space uh, actually now and we are doing with uh, some kind of a remote collaboration for the uh, hana energy so uh the control tower actually is located in south korea and they uh, they can uh control the all the energy steps uh, from the the other country like especially like, like guam in the united states and uh thailand so okay. basically the control center is located in south korea and they can manage from uh, managed by the Cox Meta space by using mm -hmm. the XR. Yeah. In addition, there is a one that uh, Air Air Force, the, uh, the Republic of Air, Cor uh, Air Force, they 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 apply the Cox Meta space for the, their counter center and also education, the military education, some kind of like equipment hardware. Uh, the, I mean, the, not education, the, the military training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that would be the yeah use case of a yeah Cox Meta space. Great, I have a question. Um, if I can uh -huh. jump in, uh, so in the I want to say in the non-business world, the average person, especially in the United States, um, mm -hmm. you know, has. And I'm saying this as an American, that's my perspective, I suppose. Um, there's uh, a lot of skepticism in the metaverse right now. And a lot of that comes from meta, face, you know, previously known as Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. Are you encountering any of that when you deal with businesses? Do you encounter any of that skepticism? Do you have, is it difficult to kind of bring new businesses into this field? Or do you find, you know, these companies or militaries um, readily accepting this new technology mm -hmm. uh, so i'm encountering some kind of problem like actual metaverse is a kind of now on as much uh, like uh, uh developed it but in a long in, in a long time like a kind of like a the la last year or something like a, if i made a, some some kind of like a customer or like who want to buy it it's a little harder to but now on the uh next year the a, a bunch of AI glasses will be launched so it is a, like a good chance to show the our uh solution because anyone can because the, the the bunch of AI glasses will be, will reduce the price of it so anyone can experience the meta space I and mean, especially Cox meta space easily with our with our device so that would be the how we deal with the encountering yeah, I was just curious about your perspective. I know yeah. there's a lot of um, a lot of the negativity comes a lot from people who don't know much about the industry. So, mm -hmm. you know, in in um, media, sometimes we see that a lot. But I was just curious because when I'm interviewing people from these companies uh, mm -hmm. and companies that use the metaverse, there seems to be a lot of optimism. But the average mm -hmm. person hasn't quite bought into it yet. So I didn't know how that translates into sales. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just curious, so thank you for answering my question. I also think additionally, like, we are because uh, we are doing the B two C business for the Bungie because the Bungie is uh, uh, will be the, the crucial, I mean main uh, core, a uh, main uh, device for the metaverse because it's very small and it is even cheaper, and then anyone can use mm -hmm. it and can uh, apply to the metaverse. So we believe that uh, Bungie will secure the users. Yeah, well, can I ask? I, I think I must have missed it. Um or maybe I missed it in the presentation. What was the um, uh, asking price now? Or what's, what's uh, your, I guess, suggested retail price? Uh, retail price, the end, of, end of price will be 129, but we will uh, just, yeah, yeah. Okay, like okay. Uh, the price is same like an Apple Pencil, but have, have mm -hmm. more function than Apple Pencil. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I look forward to getting my first for VR's headset device in the future. Yeah, in the future, you can, you can apply it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if that's it, if there are no more questions, um, I want to say thank you for coming out and uh, giving us a little bit of uh, not only just to look into the field, of course, but of course, to look into what mm -hmm. your company does and produces and offers mm -hmm. um, as far as the metaverse as well as physical products. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That was yeah. Vinny M, thank you. Yeah.